Hey guys, this is Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. Uh, this is another one of our uh, everyday carry videos. We're going to talk about two things today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about drawing from concealment in the winter and the excess sights, which I've just added to my Glock 17. So I've been shooting a little bit already. I took a chance to shoot some defensive loads at the steel just to burn a few through my gun, just to you know, remember kind of what that feels like. They're a little more uh, snappy than the 115s. Um, but uh, it's cold and it's wet, and uh, this is what winter feels like in Minnesota. So if we're not spending a little time out in this weather, then uh, we're really we're missing uh, training for what's really a third of our year here in Minnesota. So uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, drawing from concealment first, and then we'll, we'll talk about those excess sights. I'm, I'm, I think I'm a big fan, but uh, we'll know by the end of this review. So a couple things uh, just to note. I am uh, I'm trying to wear as close to comfortable uh, clothes that, that are approximate what I wear in regular life. I mean, the, I probably wouldn't be wearing 5'11 pants, and, um, but I, I've got the gloves that I normally wear, these uh, North Face gloves, instead of work gloves, which are easier to manipulate the gun with. And, uh, you know, other than that, hearing protection and maybe eyes. But uh, let's give it a shot. We'll shoot a few. Um, what I do is uh, I cannot, under, in this jacket, clear my gun effectively with one hand. So what I'll end up doing is uh, taking both hands, fully clearing my pistol, drawing it, and then bringing it up to bear. So this first one we're gonna do is uh, on the steel at about 10 feet, so 15 feet maybe top. So this is what I would consider the furthest range I'd wanna have to deal with with this pistol in a kind of regular everyday life situation. Any further than this, and I'm going to jail for sure, so at least here in Minnesota. So let's see what that looks like. So I like the sights, they're very quick. I missed, off to the left over there. I'm dead. So I'm liking these sights. Uh, I have run some, some rounds through them already, but uh, you know, they're very intuitive and we'll, we'll try to get some imagery of what they look like in the dark. They're very, very good for that as well. Um, but uh, maybe what we'll do now is switch up the camera a little bit and uh, show a little of this from the front. Okay guys, so this is going to be a little different than the last drill. This is a, a much more violent encounter and frankly, uh, probably the most common. So the fact is, is that uh, I think it was 95% if I took averages from different sites I looked at of all encounters happen, they're uh, one shot within a few feet of your encounter. So what's likely going to happen is this, this guy's going to be right on top of you. And, you're going to have to get to your gun, put a shot off. I'm not going to aim, I'm going to shoot from the side and then back up enough, take a head shot as I, uh, as I get my sights on target. So we're gonna shoot two, wham wham, and back and shoot one. Now, I have not practiced this drill wearing gloves and a jacket before. So this is the very first time I'm doing this and I have a feeling it's gonna be incredibly clunky, which should be somewhat showing. So uh, let's give it a try. Ah. <laughs> yep. I'm dead. That sucks. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so the two shots that were totally off hip were more than good for me. I did miss with the headshot by a fraction of an inch. 
fix up the target a little bit here. Try that again. Still very, very slow on the draw, which is really, really scary. That's a very bad day, but uh, you know what's funny is my reaction isn't to try to shoot from the side. I'm, I'm getting all the way up into position. But this guy's still pretty pissed, and pissed off, I would say. Let's try it again. You know, creating that space to get to your, your jacket and therefore your gun is it's pretty difficult. This is something that I'm not spending enough time with, clearly. So as you can see, the Glock is performing very well and these excess sights are fantastic. Let's just uh, take a quick look at those. I'll take my glasses off here. So, here's what these sights look like all lined up, sorta. Uh, sorry guys, this is hard. But it's, uh, you know, they're tritium and then in both sides. And again, what you do is you, you know, you bring that uh, front sight up this is uh, like impossible to do backwards. And uh, you line them up and pull the trigger. It's very, very fast. And uh, you know, I shoot just uh, kind of a standard Mepro light uh, sight during my everyday life. And um, I don't find transitioning to these hard because I'm so used to seeing that front, that front red or that front dot there. So it's been pretty good. But uh, let's do a little bit of a long range shooting. Not long range, but maybe we'll go to like 20, 25 feet or something with the sights. And, and sort of see what my comfortable range is with them. Alright guys, well, on accident we're going to get a uh, Glock reliability uh, uh, test out of this. So I accidentally just uh, dropped my gun in the snow. <laughs> so uh, we got a magazine here. Make sure we're recording. Yep, we're good. Interesting. Get some years on. Right now we're at about uh, 25 feet, which is frankly further than I would ever want to have to take a shot in a, you know, rule of law situation with other people around. I, you know, I'm sure there are guys out there that are more confident with their skills than I am, but this is, for me, this is a, this is a long shot. So here we go. Going to go into battery. So, there's a data point for you. These are great. I'm uh, I'm sold. I think I'll be uh, continuing to use these for years. The Phobos holster, though, that I struggled with on the other drills, uh, is toast. Oh, son of a bitch. Got one more. Hell. So, <laughs> one thing we learned today, if you learn nothing else, is if you drop your Glock in, Glock in the snow, Clear it a bunch of times, try to get as much of that crap out of there as you can, or it simply won't go into battery. All right, guys, I hope this video helped. Uh, you know, I'm still learning all this stuff, and so these are some of these drills that we're doing, some of the things we're doing. I'll leave my mistakes in because I want you to see uh, what it takes to learn how to do this. Uh, I'm not an expert. Um, I want to be someday, and uh, the way I, I've gotten better over the last couple years is by coming out and putting myself through these tests. and. You know, when you throw the video camera on it and you've got like a, a paper sight like the one we were using earlier, you only get a couple of times to do it before it's clear you've been shooting the crap out of it. And if I had a bunch of stray bullets all over everywhere. I couldn't hide that from you guys. So um, I'm really, uh, really grateful that you guys watch uh, our videos and I'm, uh, I'm very, very thankful for all the comments and the questions we've had. It's helped me change things that I'm doing. And uh, in fact, uh, our good friend uh, Maddie had... Uh, called me out on the way I was carrying my Glock so in my pants in the appendix style uh, without a holster and I did something about that. I, I'll try a few things out and I'll, uh, I'll let you know what I, what I did with that at the end of the day but uh, 
we're getting rid of the Phobos holster after today for sure. It's too hard to draw from under pressure and find something new. So um, please subscribe to the channel up uh, here or down there and uh, check us out on Facebook, Hawkeye Ordnance, and uh, of course our website, HawkeyeOrdnance.com. Thank you all so much for watching and God bless.